Good day everyone and welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Today we're going to take a look at this awe-inspiring two-story Asian-themed home inside a magnificent exclusive village in Silang, Cavite. Before we start, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties' official YouTube channel and check us out on Instagram and on Facebook. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. My name is Apple Grace and let's go and check out the entirety of the house. But guys, before we go check out the parameters of this house, let's take a moment to look and appreciate the beautiful facade. So on this side, you're going to see this vertical slat metal accent over here. And then, of course, you're not going to miss this one. You're going to see this one over here in the facade and on the inside of the house. So this is a beautiful um, natural stone cladding. So, yep. Really nice, right? And now, follow me as we check out your side garden. So this is your lush side garden. And then there's a gate. So that's for later. Okay, now, I will be leading you to the other side of the house. Guys, this is really exciting. This is actually one of my favorites. I know I'm not supposed to play favorites, but I mean, can't help it. Look at this house, right? So follow me. Hey, Jerry, walk faster. <laughs> you have to keep up, bro. All right, so we are on the other side of the house. So this, again, is a very lush and manicured garden. So I can see the inside of the house. And this, as we turn to our right, it's gonna lead us to our lanai. This is your lanai area, and again, you're gonna be followed by your parameter ornamental plants. So they're everywhere. And here would be your utility area. So there's a lot of space for you. Like, for example, you have your big bikes, your Bicicleta or whatever. Yep. You can stall them or put them over here. And then we have... Hello there. We have a wash area over here. And then, that was the gate that I was trying to get into earlier. And then this door right here would lead us to our driver's room. So this is our driver's room. Go check it out. And now you've seen the entire house from the outside view. Now I will take you to the main entry area and the carport area. So come and follow me, guys. Welcome to your four-car carport. Obviously, you can fit in four cars comfortably in here, right? And then I'll be taking you to your front porch. So here we are, guys. Welcome to the main entry door. Okay, so this one right here, so this one is kind of hiding in plain sight. It's black and it's very classic. So this is your doorbell. Sleek, right? Okay, so the door is open for us. Come on in, follow me. So this gigantic door which greets us as we head inside the house is actually made of tangile wood. So all of the the doors in this house are made of tangile. And as I welcome you to your foyer, look up and you will see one of the best accents in this house. So that is our tang um, wood composite accent. Really nice. And actually it's gonna be a very consistent accent in the house. So let me close the door. And I'll be taking you to the first bedroom here at the first floor. So welcome to your den. So 
right? And again, as mentioned, this is an Asian inspired house. It's so beautiful. I swear, if you come and see it personally, you're gonna admire every detail of the house. And guys, we're just getting started. This is just the den. Look at this cool gray color over here. And then right across that is, again, this wood composite material, which is our wall accent, so again, vertical slats, makes our floor to ceiling even higher than it already is. And then you have your windows. And you know what? This is such a generously um, spaced area because not all dens have their own walk-in closet. So come here and check this out with me. So yeah, this den has a walk-in closet. And as you step down one notch, welcome to your toilet and bath. So it's a full bath. And then I love the features of this house. Truly Asian and a little bit of industrial okay so i love the ceramic tiles it's gray it's rough so a little bit of a like brutus style of design and then if you guys are a fan of the brass sink so we have it over here perfect the combination and contrast of the brass sink and the matte black faucet and fixtures of this toilet and bath So much to say in this toilet and I love the frosted glass as well again if you have a comment as early as now about the den the walk-in closet and the toilet and bath let us know on the comment section below we would love to hear from you guys so now follow me as I show you half of what is here now this is one of the nicest parts of the house. I mean, I think you're gonna hear me say it over and over again because there's just a lot of really nice, magnificent features. So we're gonna start with our koi pond. So this is our koi pond over here. Champre, it hasn't been, you know, maintained yet or you don't see any coins over there. But once you move in the house or before you do, this will be prepared for you. And now let's check out the powder room. Welcome to your powder room, guys. And again, as we always say, you can be creative with your powder rooms. It doesn't have to submit to the house's entire theme, but this one kind of was submissive but it's still nice so you're gonna see this niche over here so it has a really nice um, ceramic accent tile and then of course the gray brutus design which is similar to the dense toilet and bath and then you have your sink right here and i know you guys are gonna point out on this one so this is like a cement um looking sink it's really nice and you have your floating vanity and again matte black toilet fixtures and you don't see this kind of faucet very often so this is very well thought of and now let's close this one the powder room and the koi pond underneath the stairs are such a sight but nothing beats a beautiful double height ceiling living area Look at that. So the focal point of this living area would be your geometric Spanish style wall cladding. So this is really nice and sleek, very minimalistic. And then you have your minimalistic or minimalist shelves and cabinets. And then the air conditioning unit stays for you. And you have to appreciate the beauty of your furniture, the colors at play, very neutral, earth tone, earth palette. And as you look up, 
Another beautiful feature, you can see our vertical wood slat. So that is wood composite material. So it runs from the second floor up to the ceiling over there. And of course, you're going to have a beautiful sight of our rattan chandeliers. There's three of them. And right behind me is your floor to ceiling picture window. And chambray, guys beautiful gray drapes all over the house really consistent with the design now let me take you to your formal dining area wow okay the vibe that this gives me is actually resort hotel vibe but even more you know classic and intimate and private and this is your eight seater dining table this one is made out of tempered glass and your um, seats over here is of velvet finish so it feels super luxurious and lavish and right behind me is an access way to your lanai so we have passed by this one earlier and now guys after the dining area I'm super excited to show you the show kitchen but that's for later because let me show you our auxiliary and staff room first let's go Here is the door leading to your auxiliary kitchen. And again, guys, the owner and the builder of the house really have this one well thought of. I mean, look at this one. The backsplash and the countertops are, you know, of the same material. It's beautiful. The cupboards and the overhead storage, ang ganda. And then you still have a lot of storage spaces below. Access to our helper's room is here with a toilet and bath en suite. So really nice. You can check that out. So I'll go inside anyway. Ayan. Ganda. Okay. And now, for the finale feature here on the first floor, let me show you the show kitchen or the open kitchen, which is, of course, my favorite. So we're gonna start with our all granite countertops. This is really nice as a breakfast table or could be like a dry bar where you can entertain friends and then, you know, mix some drinks, cocktails, serve some shots. So it's totally up to you. That's my idea of entertaining. Maybe you have a different idea. <laughs> Who knows? And right here would be the waterfall counter island or center island. And of course, another way to enjoy breakfast or dinner. So you have your bar stools underneath. And yep, you could be eating here and I'll be lecturing to you. So yeah, I, I'm not sure if you're gonna enjoy that. And right behind me would be our stainless steel sink. And guys, ito na. I love this one because it's a motion-sensored faucet. And of course, it's in matte, uh, matte black material. Matte black material, right? So really nice and consistent with the house's entire fixture color. You have your range hood, you have your cooktop. And then let's open our shelves and our cabinets. All our soft close mechanism. So you have your pull-out pantry over here for your spices, your mixers and everything, overhead storage. So you won't see any handles anymore na naka-protrude because they wanted seamless and then it's two-toned. It's a beautiful wood laminated um, cupboard with a black pull-out detail. And syempre, hindi magpapahuli ang ating center counter island or counter island. Soft close mechanism and then you have your pull-out tray right here so yep easy easy maneuvering for you and shampre so i call this one the multi-door black ref we're such a fan of this one so yeah i think i'm gonna take this home joke lang so there you are ganda right yeah ah, one of my wish list it's included in a wish list There you 
have it guys i hope you enjoyed the tour of our show kitchen because this is definitely one of its nicest features including the track lights um the drop pendant lighting so yep i hope you enjoyed it and now come follow me as we explore what's on the second floor Welcome to the second floor, but before that, our open riser steps is made out of tangili wood material and metal that holds it up together. And then again, welcome. So this is your landing area. And again, to be ever present in all of the house's walls. So this is our vertical slats wood composite accent wall again. Whoops. Wow. Okay, I didn't see that one. I swear. What is this? I think this is a gateway to heaven because it's all white, but guys, this is your linen storage area. Okay, so you have your shelves over there and then more storage space right behind me. So nice, right? Okay, I could, we could all play hide and seek and then I'll just go inside. No one's gonna know because this one is really well hidden. You won't see any creases if you don't know it. <laughs> Great, perfect. And now, let's pause for a little while before we check out the three bedrooms on the second floor. So, we have a view of the open below. Again, a closer look at our wood composite vertical accent, vertical slat, vertical slat accent. And then yeah, you could say hi to your friends if you have them over from the kitchen area or the dining area and then the living area as well. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> all right, so I hope you enjoyed this tour of, you know, the second floor landing area. Now we're gonna check out the first bedroom on the second floor. So which one? This one or the one behind me? Okay, we're gonna start with this one. So this one is your junior master suite bedroom. Actually, the first two bedrooms in, in this place or in this house are actually not your regular size cot um, bedrooms. It's so much bigger. So thank you to the builder for thinking through that. So here you have your Oh, what do you call this? Your shelves, and then you have your storage area or your built-in closet. You have windows from that side up to this side. And then let's check out your toilet and bath. Again, guys, you're gonna love this one if you are into the minimalist look and design. I mean, look at the wall or the ceramic tile. So it's gray, black, combination and then you have your um, granite um, sink over here or the counter that holds the sink and then it's a floating sink as well you have your vanity mirror frameless and siempre diba? the matte black rain shower head and then the matte black you know frame of the glass enclosure it's really beautiful and ito I want to highlight this one actually later but yeah let's give it a highlight so this is your vivati um water closet so it is italian brand but it actually adopted the japanese technology so let's see okay so this one's not working over here so we're gonna check out um the one from the master toilet and bath but super bravo right Ang ganda. And then all the bedrooms have its own ac nice right First is the Junior Master Suite. Let's now check out bedroom number two. So again, guys, I forgot to point out this really nice circular um, lighting over here. It really is super pretty. And so, this is the mom and then you get the kids. 
all over surrounding her. <laughs> really nice concept. And then you have your built-in closet, you have your shelves on that side. Or come in and check out your toilet and bath. So again, ang ganda niya. Really minimalist, beautiful, sleek, and clean design. So as you come in and check out the shower area, so similar to the first um, junior master suite, and then you have your toiletries or your shampoo niche and everything else that you need. You have your awning window over there. So just keep it open to keep the, you know, airflow and the circulation running to keep the stinkies away. And yes, you can choose this bedroom if you want to, okay? I'm not gonna fight with you because I am gonna be choosing the first one. There you have it guys, it's time for us to leave. No, kidding lang. So again, everyone's favorite bedroom. Let's go check out the master bedroom. If you were in awe with the first two bedrooms I've shown you guys, this is the cream of the crop or the icing on the cake or whatever. So come on inside. And again, very spacious. It has an access to the balcony and the balcony is, oh my God, how do I say it? It's gonna give you a great panoramic view of your environment and the rest of the community. So come on outside. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Amazing view. And it just feels so breezy and airy over here. Alam mo yun, like, no pollution. I mean, you're a few minutes away from the city, but the vibe is just so provincial, which is, you know, good for your health and for your mental health in general. And here, another nice feature for the facade is this wood tile, um, wood tile accent over here. So yeah. This is your wood tail accent, I'll say it again. And then as you look up, you're gonna see like an oculus. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but yeah, that's the first thing that, you know, popped in my head as I looked up. No kidding, joke lang. Actually, it came from my good friend, Arky Gab Alviola. Thanks, Arky. And then, of course, we have our natural stone cladding over here. And then another natural stone cladding, which was present in the facade. Nice, right? Wow, this is so beautiful, guys. Let me know what is your favorite feature of the house, okay? But we're not finished yet because I'm gonna show you like a, I'm not gonna say it's state of the art, but for me, it's state of the art master toilet and bath. So come and show. I mean, come on, so let me show you. But before we head on over to the master toilet and bath, I'm gonna show you the master walk-in closet. So to the left would be your vanity, my shelves for all of your, you know, skin essentials maybe, your perfume, everything else. Kulang na lang is your um, little chair over there. And then to the right, as you come forward and, you know, come deeper to your walk-in closet, you have more shelves over here for your bags maybe, or for all of the things that you love to keep and you know take a look at whenever you walk into your walk-in closet and as you look up you're gonna see the track lights so that was also present in the formal dining area so i hope you caught that one now come on and check out the master toilet and bath wow and again, this is gonna be one of the highlights as well. I keep saying that, I know. So you have your his and her sink, and then this marble inspired um, countertop, and then you have your ceramic wall. It's super beautiful, perfect contrast of the colors, and you have your frameless vanity mirror. 
And syempre, you have your <laughs> shower area, rain head shower area. And then syempre, hindi magpapahuli ang ating bathtub. And of course, guys, similar with our his and her sink. So this is such a different design. It's actually the first time that I'm seeing this one. So this is your faucet. You open it like this and it, it looks like a waterfall, right? A mini waterfall. There. Super pretty. And then we have this one. I, I'm not really sure what this is, but let's open it. I can or I cannot. So I'm gonna ask the owner how, but it looks like a bidet <laughs> or a little shower head when you're here, you know, enjoying your moment in your tub. And syempre, I've actually mentioned this one earlier, but um, the first one wasn't working or maybe it wasn't turned on. For sure, it wasn't turned on. So this is a motion-censored water closet. It's Vivati, so it's Italian brand, but they adopted the Japanese technology. So what we're gonna do is just slide your feet over there and then um, if you're gonna pee if you're a guy and you don't have a urinal do another slide so you don't stain the seater over there so do another one if you want to sit down and enjoy your moment with nature so there you have it oh okay <laughs> super nice right wala lang nakakabilib and of course you have your um your toilet and bath niche over here where you can put all of your toiletries and then you can see this, you know, triangular um, accent over here. Really nice. And it actually looks 3D from this vantage point. Super ganda. You're gonna love this, guys. If you're minimalist, you love black and matte, and you love it simple but very luxurious. This is the house for you, and this is the bedroom for you. So now, follow me as we go back to the landing area and talk about more about the house. And now we have come to the end of our house tour for today. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with us up until the end. On the comment section, we want to see you guys comment which part of the house is your favorite. So please let us know. Let's see if we actually share the same interests. And again, before I let you go, guys, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties' official YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified whenever we drop our fresh videos. And of course, check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. And if you want to list your properties with us all you have to do is send us an email it's at avproperties.official at gmail.com this has been apple grace thank you so much for staying with us up until the end again see you on the next videos guys bye